In this presentation, I'm going to present the research work by Mr. Igalashi with the title Model Building of Collective Housing Interior Work in which Valuation Analysis of Work Period and Cost are possible. This research work aims at constructing a model that can evaluate and analyze the cost and work period involved in various collective housing interior works. We propose to use the milestone interval analysis method to improve both of the cost and work period by exploring the required number of workers. In addition, we compare our work with the previous study in which the experiment design method is applied. For construction works, there exist many constraining factors, such as the employment pattern of workers and the progress situation during construction. Therefore, the management is relatively challenging. So in order to ease the management, a system to evaluate the cost and work period involved in interior finished work is necessary and important. From this background, in previous work, Mr. Toligai modeled the interior finished work based on a real case study. Then he discussed the possible improvement of cost and work period simultaneously by increasing the number of selected types of workers. From the simulation result, we could see that this experiment design could improve the trade-off indicators simultaneously. However, the usefulness of this experiment design is not discussed yet, and whether it could be applied in other cases is unknown. So the purpose of this work is to construct a model which could be used to evaluate the cost and work period in various interior finished work of collective housing construction. In addition, by applying this model, we compare the explorative methods of identifying the optimized composition of various workers. Next, we are going to introduce the model. First of all, we will define the workers as agents and corresponding workspaces as spot. The workers were defined according to their work type as the corresponding work progress. So as shown in this diagram, the workers will refer to the progress table defined in the office to decide which room to go to and which task to perform. After completing the jobs, they will go back to the office to update the progress table. And this process will be repeated until all the works are completed. So since the model on the process of collective housing construction and interior finished work is well defined already and very hard to modify, so this research changes only the input data of the model as CSV files. By updating the input type, we can represent different kinds of construction works. Therefore, the model is applicable to various construction works as well. So next, we will discuss the method to find the optimized number of workers needed. So in order to discuss the usefulness of the proposed experiment design method, we will compare our method with the previous one and discuss which one is better. So the method in previous work considered the overall construction work and try to find the most influential type of workers if the number is changed. So in contrast, our method will separate the overall construction work into different terms and try to find the most influential type within each term. So the comparison results are shown in the table. First of all, we treat the simulation results with design number and process plan as the base case. Then, by using the two methods separately, we increase the number of workers of selected types and compare the simulation result. From the table, we could compare the improvement rate of these two methods. So it's very clear that the previous experiment design method is better than the interval analysis method proposed in our work. <laughs> 